the winner's already been announced. Do you guys play Powerball? Oh, yeah. We're, we're. <laughs> We've played in. Yeah. Three states? <laughs> three states. That's, you're up in the odds. North well, Carolina, uh, Tennessee, <laughs> and now in Texas. So now in North Carolina or Tennessee, do you have to pay state taxes as well if you win? I don't know the answer to that we'll at all. We'll share. So you, don't, we <laughs> so you don't mind that the real winner is going to be the federal, state, and local government? That's pretty that. sad, but yes, I, I've, I've heard that. Yes, ma'am. The lottery or something. Yeah. I heard someone talk about it up there. Yeah. Like the chances of you winning it are like getting struck by lightning and... Five times. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think you should still go for it. Yeah. Yeah. If you're not in it, you won't win it. <laughs> I have probably a better chance of making out with Tom Brady than I do winning the Powerball. This is true. You have a one in 272 million percent chance of winning. It's absurd. So what would you do with your winnings, though, if you did play and you won? Make out with Tom Brady. <laughs> you know who the winner is, though, right? They've already been announced. No. The government. Oh, yeah. Are you okay with that, that they take at least 40%? Here in Texas, it's only 40% because we don't pay state taxes, but in other places, it's 68%. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It's still more than you had, and that's the way life works here. I don't want that much money. Really? Why? You've heard too much horror stories? the soul of a gremlin. How was that? <laughs> I would do so much mischief with it. Oh, my God. The one guy said he was going to get hookers and blow. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> that video went viral. That's allowed. What would <laughs> what would you do if you won the Powerball? Oh man, <laughs> I couldn't even imagine. I would I would, I would invest a lot of investments and uh and party. Yeah. Party. I'm sure if I won the Powerball there'd be people up in the line with their hands out wanting to take it one way or the other. <laughs> Either way, if I had ten million of that I'd be happy enough. <laughs> So you're not worried about the Powerball curse, though? No. And what do you think about those people that they, like, win all this money and then their lives are ruined? How does it? I think they're idiots. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, really, they're, they're just idiots. Um, they should have given some of it away. And, um, you know, if you fly too close to the sun, you get burnt, man. Uh, what can I say? This is a protest, and this is a riot. If you can't tell the difference, then you are part of the problem. Infowars.com. Another GOP debate is upon us. When you had the World Trade Center go, people were put into planes that were friends, family, and they were sent back. They knew what was going on. They went home and they wanted to watch their boyfriends on television. Who else would come back like that at the Bushes and the Clintons calling them criminals? And this the is crazy. You guys go back to your live feeds. You see, we don't have rights in America. Only the people who are outside of this country have a right. The only right that anybody has is to come live in America, mm -hmm. presumably to live off of us if that's what they choose. They can come live off of us. They can come uh, create war in our country. That's their right. But people in America don't have rights. The first and most important priority of the president of the United States is to protect the safety and security of America. No, it isn't. You're disqualified. You have an oath to the Constitution, and the oath to the Constitution says, and the Declaration of Independence says, you are created to protect our freedoms. Right. Not to keep us safe. They didn't want safety. They wouldn't have rebelled against the strongest government in the world if their first priority was safety. Their first priority was liberty. They created a government to protect that. I'm sick of these people. If we want to defend the country, we have to defend against who's are coming in. And Marco is, has more of an allegiance to Chuck Schumer and to the liberals than he does to conservative policy. Do you really think that Republicans have fueled the rise of ISIS? <laughs>
Uh, I think yeah, that's where's she been? Who is she? The allies of <laughs> ISIS, the, the Islamic rebels she been against doing? Assad, <laughs> that we created a safe space or made that space bigger for <laughs> ISIS to grow. Uh, we know what's going on. We know these guys are running ISIS. And when they talk about shutting down freedom of speech, he just repeated the exact same stuff he said in his speech. Even talking about how you don't refer to these people as masterminds, he knows precisely what he's saying. These are a bunch of Morlocks, and the American people are a bunch of Eloy. When they talk about serving America, you're on the menu. Join InfoWars January 14th, starting at 7 p.m. Central for another episode of Political Science Theater 3K. And it's that type of behavior that spurred me to do the research to develop a true nutraceutical formula that was designed to smooth out and help children focus. All of our children are hit with modern mind control. Television, music, fast food, GMOs, sugars, you name it. Young humans have not yet developed their nervous system and are being hammered daily by globalist concoctions. It's no wonder they can't focus and calm down and then are put on dangerous psychotropic drugs. Working with my team, we set out to find the best formula with the highest quality ingredients that children would actually like and take. We worked with the leading manufacturer in nutritional supplements that are safe for children to bring you the most affordable and powerful calming formula out there. Introducing Child Ease with herbs and calming extracts like chamomile and lemon balm and essential nutrients that taste great. Obtain your Child Ease today at InfoWarsLife.com. That's Child Ease exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. Knockout is back. If you want a product that has 10 known ingredients that naturally get your body to relax, your brain to relax, so you get deep, restful sleep, knockout's it. Infowarslife.com. L-theanine, hops flower extract, lemon balm extract, valerian root extract, chamomile flower extract, L-tryptophan extract, melatonin, and more. All organic, all the natural sources. It's the same price as leading brands of melatonin that are three milligrams a piece. It has three milligram, the standard recommended dose for an adult. It's got the GABA. So it would probably cost $50 to take all this as separate pills. It's $19.95. You take one or two of these and it just is really clean, restful sleep is what the reviews are. It's what I've experienced. And it just synergistically puts everything in there. Infowarslife.com. That's Infowarslife.com. Or call 888-253-3139. We need to audit the private run-for-profit Federal Reserve, and no one has championed that more than former Congressman Dr. Ron Paul. And now, for the last five years, no one has championed that more in the U.S. Senate than Senator Rand Paul. And that's why I've been very hopeful when he was the leader of the campaign uh, of the Republican run to get the nomination that he would stay in the lead. But he's been in the lead. He could go back in the lead. We've seen that. The media is trying to say that Rand Paul is out of the race, and then they put John Kasich in the Republican debate coming up tomorrow night that we're going to be covering live. It's crazy. So definitely the fix is in, but can we override that fix? I know he didn't come on about this. He wanted to come on about auditing the Fed, which we're very close to doing. Really, it's 1776 Part 2, but peaceful. But I do want to get into campaign 2016 with him, RandPaul.com. Uh, Senator, thanks for coming on with us again. Hey, Alex. Thanks for having us. There is so much going on. We've only got you for about 10 minutes, so you've got the floor. Uh, what's the battle plan to audit the Fed? What's happening in the campaign? H how do we get you back in the debates? Where is all this going? The good news is, you know, we got a majority yesterday. We got 53 votes for auditing the Fed, and we needed 60, unfortunately. We were missing uh, Ted Cruz, unfortunately, couldn't come back to vote with us. But we did get a majority, and I think that's a step forward. It took me five years to get a vote on the bill. Uh, I talked to Harry Reid till I was blue in the face. I reminded him that he used to be for auditing the Fed, uh, but no longer. And we finally got a vote. We got uh, two Democrats, Baldwin, and then we got Bernie Sanders to vote for it as well. So we got close, but we didn't quite get there. But to me, that's a long fight. It's long overdue. The Federal Reserve really is responsible for a lot of uh, the income inequality in our country. The rich get richer because the Federal Reserve passes their money out to the rich. By the time it filters down to the rest of us, prices are going up, and we never really seem to see any value in the new money that is put into the system. I also noticed mainstream media really tries to not cover this. This is a big deal when you have the former Fed Chairman Greenspan, as you know, on Lair News Hour saying 
we're above the law, Congress can't even look at us. Since when is a private group masquerading as government above the law when Congress has the power to issue the currency, Senator? Because, I mean, I cannot praise you and others enough, especially you, for leading the fight all the way to the fact that you've almost been able to overturn it, but they want this, I guess, 60 votes, uh, but you've gotten 50-plus. I mean, this is amazing after your father's 30-plus year battle to do this. The biggest lobby against auditing the Fed is actually coming from the Federal Reserve. And it's, this has made me so mad that the government created the Federal Reserve. Sure, they're quasi-private, but they were created by the government. It's a conglomeration of private banks, but they should not be allowed to lobby against their own oversight. So they come to Washington, they write op-eds, they called every senator in advance and lobbied them to say, we don't want more oversight. It'll somehow, you know, affect our policy making. Well, we need to ask questions. Did their policy making lead to this huge, enormous recession that we got with a real estate crisis and where a lot of people caught up in it? And how come when we got caught up in it, the poor people suffered, but the people on Wall Street just went right along merrily making $100 million a year, and they bankrupted AIG? You saw the other day who the former head of AIG is giving their money to, right? He took $10 million of his bailout money to try to bail out the Bush campaign. So it goes on and on, the rich get richer, but the, the government should not be uh, showing this crony capitalism uh, through the banking system. And I'm going to keep up the fight. If it takes me another five years, I'm going to get a vote on audit the Fed and we're going to win. Well, I have said probably a thousand times the last few years that, that even before the campaign started, I appreciate you running for president, just like I appreciate you running for Senate. And, and, and I appreciate the fact you've been true to your principles and not compromised, even though they've demonized you. But, but now... Um, I have not been critical, but I mean, I know you're a gentleman. Your dad's a gentleman. The fact is people are angry. There's an insurrection. A lot of America isn't as sophisticated as some of the libertarians. Um, I think you can beat Trump if you really get aggressive uh, and, 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 you know, and I'm not saying stoop to that level, but, you know, of the WWE, which you know, obviously he's been part of, but he knows what he's doing. That's what people want. And, and all I'm saying is I know you'd make the best president of the three people. I mean, I like Ted Cruz. You know, I like Trump as well. I know your pedigree, your history, no compromise. You're for real. Uh, Trump, I don't really know, but, I mean, I'd rather him than Hillary. Uh, how do we get you elected president? I know there's a lot of time left, and folks thought Trump would fade. And, but I think, you know, really getting aggressive is the way to go. I don't plan to be the big political guru here, sir, but, I mean, I'd really like to see you as president. You know, the thing we keep trying to point out is is that Trump has no history as a person who believes in limited government or as really even being a conservative. One of the things that I think is the bedrock principle of capitalism and in a free society is ownership of property. When you own your house, the government shouldn't come in your house. The government has no right to your property, and you have the right to control your property. But, you know, one of the ways Trump has made money, and he said this repeatedly, is that he believes in eminent domain. He believes the government should be allowed to take private property and give it to another private property owner. This was a famous Supreme Court decision, the Kelo decision, and I think it's inconsistent with someone who believes in limited government, and he's used it repeatedly. Uh, Vera Coakling lived in her house for 30 years. Donald Trump took it for a parking lot for one of his casinos, or he tried. She battled him in court, and she actually beat him. But uh, I think there really is no limited government tradition with Trump, and I think when he says, trust me, give me power, I'll, you know, I'll be strong, I'll do things better. I worry about that because most of the tradition, not only English tradition, but American tradition has been trying to limit the power of the monarch, limit the trap power of the presidency. And it's not give me more power, I'm smart and I'll fix it. It's leave the power with the states and the people and leave me alone. And I don't think he's part of that tradition, but he is angry and people have you know, fallen in for the anger without examining whether or not he would make government bigger or smaller. Well, I know you have so much integrity that you won't get you know professional wrestler on folks to win uh, but at the same time i know you have integrity i mean i've watched you i've known you for 20 years when you were campaigning for your dad and i know you've never compromised i know you exposed that al-qaeda was being western funded before cruz or trump did it you know years before i know you've led the fight on the fed led the fight 
to defund uh, you know all these different organizations like Planned Parenthood and uh, d you know defund the foreign aid to these radical Islamists. I mean, I know, sir, that you know, like you said, some people don't know all the geopolitical facts as well. I know you're the statesman who'd make the perfect president. Uh, it's just that what are people going to do if they see Trump up there at the lead? The media is all giving him the attention, yeah. and then they're scared of Hillary Clinton. All I'm saying yeah. is. Uh, I mean, you're doing a great job overall. I just wonder, sitting here, how we can catapult you back to the lead.